Hello y'all, I wanted to share uh, a tip for those who are chasing the X on FT8 specifically. Um, you all know about the PSK map, if not I'm gonna put the link down below uh, so you can check it out. It's a, a real-time map where you can see uh, all the, the transmissions uh, that people are making all through the world specifically on FT8. So here's the cool thing that I found out. Maybe you knew about this, but it's, it's good to share something that you think is cool, right? Uh, you can set the PSK map to only show you what's being heard within your grid square. And that's really, really cool if you're chasing DX because Right now, what I can see, I'm gonna repeat that again so it's very, very clear. But right now on, on the map, I can see that South America is going on right now for my grid square, not for just North America or the US, for specifically my grid square. That's really cool and precise information. So I, I see like, only one station from Europe or two stations from Europe, but everything is going on in South America. Oh, wait, on a bunch in here, in, in, in Australia. Okay, in New Zealand, well, we're starting to, it's 5 p.m. here in Austin, Texas, so in a couple of more hours, this, this is gonna be increasing. Uh, but this will give you an idea if your setup is correct, if you're beaming your directional antenna in the proper direction. This is really good information and why? Because it tells you what is being heard within your grid square. It's not like DX Watch or DX Heat, I think it's called. I mean, those clusters, you know, DX clusters that they will tell you, okay, this is being heard in America, in, in, in the US. Uh, a station from California is uh, talking to a guy in Spain or a station from Florida is making a contact with, I don't know, Israel. But wait, I'm in Texas. I mean, what can I do? I'm not in either Florida or California. So this will tell you exactly what's going on within your grid square. Isn't that amazing? Like, I, th I think it's really cool. I don't know if it's amazing, but I think it's really, really cool. Uh, and at the same time, I'm running another PSK map seeing where am I being heard. Right now, I'm on, I'm on 30 meters and okay, I can somehow check if my configuration is, is correct. I, well, uh, I've been heard all through the States and a little bit on uh, at the top of the South American continent, but I'm not being heard in South America itself. So. I'm gonna double check on that and I can see, oh wow, these stations that uh, the previous map is showing me uh, is in a different frequency. They are in a different frequency. For example, 21 megahertz, uh, 14 megahertz, 14, okay. So basically I'm not being heard in South America because the stations that are on, on in this uh, map they are in 20 meters and 15 meters, and I'm on 30 meters. So it's, I think it's, it's really handy. So just to have this maybe in another tab of your computer and you can check, quickly check out what's, what's happening in terms of DX. So if suddenly you see a station from uh, Africa or China, it's really hard for me to to do Asia, specifically South Korea and, and China. So if tomorrow I see some activity going on from my grid square to China or uh, South Africa, I jump into that band. So this is a really good tool if you're chasing DX. Uh, you will be more precise. Uh, I know some people just wanna, you know, like in the back in, like in the old days, just tune and, see what you can hear, uh, but well, let's uh, make use of the tools that we have nowadays and, uh, and see what we can do with our, with our station, we can, if we can chase those very difficult greets, at least, at least for me.
it's it's very hard for me to to reach uh, Asia. So well, I hope my explanation was kind of clear. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment down below, and I'll hear you on the band. Thank you. Bye bye.